Oh, a gas burn. So, if we can get a few items, we basically won. Don't give me things. I've been in difficulty from poor players since last time. Yeah, which I am recognizing only really makes a difference in like the early part of the game, but that's like kind of like the part of the game that should have a lot of extra difficulty, because I feel like it never has any. So we're trying it. Perfect, I need to get that gas ASAP. I love to look at Clear Stages because Siphon for us, me too. I mean, I just love the whole mod. I think it's so, so good. I've been wanting a mod like this for a while that just like has my specific tastes in mind when it comes to this stuff. If it crits, is it all? Yeah. Okay, so the way crits work, by the way, crits roll when you use the ability, not when the ability lands. Procs roll when the ability lands. So that's how you can tell the difference between um, things like that. So a lot of the time, people wonder like, why does one thing crit all the way and blah blah blah. Crit does it all because you use the ability when it happens. Yeah, this is OP. I don't really want to get rid of that speed, so. That's why crit isn't affected by frog provision, probably. Yes. Sub even. There's a scrapper? There is, but I'd rather not go back and forth to the scrapper right now. Let's come back a little bit. Scrappers are dangerous when there's this much shit around. Again, no equipment early. It kind of sucks. I'm still holding out hope, though. Five bosses each for TP? No, that's not the way it works. Should we honestly try to keep broke? This is one of those situations where it might. Honestly, I might try to keep that, uh, that wrap here as well. Ah, oh, no, there's more speed. Do I want wrap or speed? Dude. Okay, we'll get the wrap. We have extra speed. Definitely seem to put in work. I agree, but I don't know. Like, even though it did put in work, I might just still stick with the gas over it, even though it's kind of, like, complimentary. If, if it's, like, the last one, we'll keep it. All right, it's the first one. <laughs> I think it's just fine, though. Start to pick up some stuff. That gas AOE is crazy. Dude, imagine getting ignition tanks on the, uh, on the TP. I'm not gonna get a watch. I believe in the FMP build? You better. Believe harder so you can get it, thank you. But this is like pretty much exactly the build that you want for uh, this kind of thing, so. All right. It's about trains, nice. So this isn't ideal because they're both going to get aggroed because of the range of the gas, so just kind of hoping I have enough damage. I do have a wrap actually, so I don't need to be that concerned about lasers Coming from the other one. My non-AoE damage is very extremely low. Okay, good. I don't like the teleporting goal, actually. <laughs> the fuck away from me. Yeah, I might get some neurals here, unfortunately. Yeah, please give me ignition from TP. Right, who was it at 32 player difficulty? I don't know. I did 8 player Eclipse 8 difficulty. The problem with doing like super high level player difficulty stuff is you're just sitting on a rock out of bounds, not playing anymore. That's like the a real downside to it. I don't really want to do that. Honestly, there are worse things to get for multitudes. Do we get rid of them? For a red though? I don't know if we need it or not. Enemy level unlock? You know what? I should have done that. Uh, but no it doesn't. I don't think we're gonna get that far anyway. Like in enemy level though. Locked enemy level is the only really relevant when looping. Honestly, it isn't. I think it's a big bait. A lot of people are just like, oh yeah, if they keep scaling, then da da da. It, it actually doesn't matter. But it helps chat feel like it's doing something, which I think is a positive. Because when you're looping, you have so many items and they're exponentially so powerful that uh, like they could be level 1 billion and it you still cut through everything like butter. It's relevant if you're looping and you have like a limitation on uh, how much stuff you can pick up, I guess. But everyone likes their items, they don't want to give them up. If I have four friends, if you take longer than about an hour, you usually break level 99 cap. I think you usually get some ethics about level 120, and you're probably still doing fine. Location, much faster than flat edition, yeah. 
the the rate at which enemies scale would need to be multiplicative and to a very high degree for it to feel like it matters and to feel like it stops you a little bit. And honestly, maybe there's a way to kind of like do that. So at least for a while, it feels kind of tough, you know? A radar scanner. Uh, we iframe that? I didn't realize there were void enemies in there, dude. <laughs> Yike. That is actually pretty good. Huge item. For, I got a comment from someone the other day saying that, uh, something about how they check around with radar scanner so they know what they're talking about. And I was like, uh oh. Yeah, I kind of know what I'm doing. I know where all the scrappers are. Where are damage items? We have gas. What do you mean? I. I'm really tempted by that, uh, feather. Very tempted. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to take this gun to uh, the next stage. Also, we need the Bortle if we want to use our gun in a good way. I know it's a nondescript loot bag icon over by the cliff. <laughs> Is that not so annoying though? <laughs> like, why didn't they just make icons for it? it? The one job that it does, it can't even do well. It's so shit. Fuck radar scanner. It's so much Isaac, but it's been a while now. Our screen kind of retook me. Yeah. I see a lot of people saying a lot of similar things about it. It's like, as far as roguelikes go, I mean, obviously, I get a very biased selection of people telling me that, but I've heard a lot of the same things. Just like, I want to play roguelikes just hard to capture the replayability of this one. I don't see the spider running, you know, whether the scrappers speed up stage one macro by a lot. Not fair. Yeah, have Spire this summer, and I have hundreds and hundreds of hours already, got my number two behind two rain. So the Spire, I think, is very special in its, uh, its replayability. I think Say the Spire does so many things fucking right. I don't play it that much, but my respect for it, I feel like I have more respect for it than almost any other roguelike. It did what it wanted to do extremely fucking well, and better than a lot of other roguelikes. Another gun, okay. I think we do, uh, the feather, unfortunately. Nah, dude, I, I'm doing the ban. If we weren't Merc, I'd do feather, but we have so much mobility. I need that ban prop. Instant killed the Vagrant. We got the good boop. Alright, we need to use one gun here. How many Beal Queens are here? <laughs> I don't really want beads, but I don't think beach. Gas is carrying. Please give me ignition tanks. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a mount run yet either. You're just gonna be buff. I mean, it's true. Bands? Alright. That is a pretty powerful one. I feel like I really should have given up the uh, guillotines by this point, though. Bands and glands, baby. Do you have any ETA and DLC? No. As soon as, like, there is an ETA, you will hear about it, whether you want to or not. Like, it'll be literally everywhere. Oh, dude, I didn't even see we had a shrine here. I wouldn't have picked up the BG2. When does your NDA from beta testing the DLC end? Interesting question. 300 hours in the original Black Band of Isaac, your birth was good edition, but it just kept growing, and now it's just so big that I don't care as much. The one thing I wish was rain took from it is I wish alternate stage routes to boss enemies. Yeah, I mean, we have Void Link. You know? You don't like Void? Um, uh, I, I think that's true though. So like, there are MMOs and stuff, right? They really prey on your FOMO, right? They say, hey, log in every day, and if you don't log in every day, you're gonna miss out on the thing. You know, there's an offense, and you're gonna miss out on the thing, right? And you, you don't want to miss out, because as of right now, it feels like you have everything, right? And you don't want to miss out on that one thing, that new thing. And what happens is that some of these games they get too big, and there's too many, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out events that happen. And at that point, when, player, ooh, when players feel like they can't get everything anymore, they can't, like, catch up, they immediately start to lose interest. Which is really interesting, how it, like, it backfires so quickly. As soon as you feel like you have no stake in it, uh, it's just, it's over in your mind, right? There's really cool psychology behind that. Got my first Merc run, Perry's busted. Perry's the most busted fucking thing in the world. 
Best to take paper for months, because it's always good for me when I come back. Yeah, it's healthy, right? If you play a game too much, uh, you might hate it. <laughs> so, better to keep it fresh, honestly. What if there are things you can't get because you just didn't play the very first seasons of the game? That kind of feels bad. That does feel bad. Exactly what I'm talking about. It'll be a recycle. Okay. When you create too many things like that, where you're trying to prey on people's completionists' mindset, but you gate too many things away from the players uh, based on time-limited events, it doesn't create, like, an addiction club as you might expect. I'm not sure you're going to skip fireworks. It creates uh, people not wanting to really grind for everything because they feel like they can't. Oh, that's tough. I'm gonna go with Rockley though. Also, uh, games becoming literal jobs isn't fun either. Uh, that's a choice. It's so it's really good on Slice and Merc, but I feel like we're approaching a FMP build, and that would kind of screw me up. So I feel like I'm gonna go for the gamble and not do it. Even though it's really good, someone's black biting your tickets. Uh, avoiding is neat, but it doesn't feel like a different route. This was like a detour. I already went to void floods fairly often, but it really is anything to do. Well, unfortunately, void lane just kind of sucks, so. The fucking council. All right. What's the plan, team? <laughs> fucking huddled in. That's so sad when void locust was just like one stage with four charges think buttons. I think it's the coolest looking stage to give it a little bit of fairness. But yeah, it's just, it's just pillars. <laughs> so, I mean, it's supposed to like tie in with void lane, but then it's also just void lane. It's a pretty like lose scenario. Also GG, I guess. I wish there was more effort for the, the DLC endgame stuff. Because like, I feel like it could have been really good. And I feel like I have some sort of hope in my heart for the new DLC having better endgame stuff. It seems like they want to do something, right? Like, they're trying to make it like a story thing uh, with the the new boss or whatever. So, we'll see. Hey everyone on the YouTube, is the loot here reduced to make it balanced? Yes, absolutely correct. We have... Very high reduction of loot on right now. Oh yeah, do we want Shatter Spling? I don't know. <laughs> That's why we're here, right? To use the fucking gun. I don't feel like we need it. I want a little of the Cypher. Let's just see if... Oh, Cypher, Cypher. Okay. I don't Okay. I didn't think I hit the right one. And I didn't hit the right one, but I was like, dude, if I hit the Imp somehow... With that, I would have been really sad. Hey. Why did BGs have War Banner? Uh, Nuxlar's Elite Mod adds enemies with the uh, banners for the enemy. Wow. Not a crazy stage, but we did get headset, so kind of it's. Captain NG would be a truly fucked up early game. You're right. I think Captain would be a little bit easier. NG gets going really well, but. Page one would be a little bit tough, maybe, depending on how cheesy you are about it. I was blowing my mind how much an impact even two reps can have on incoming damage. Yeah. I think people sleep on it a lot. It's one of those ones where it's like, it's a lot better than people think it is. Fucking quail time, dude. Fuck. Quails. I just want to make sure that there's no equipment barrelers on it. Scarborough or quail printer? Yeah, we can go all in, dude. <laughs> I'll see. Yeah, give me the goods. Those are the goods. <laughs> there are no nodes over there, so it actually can't move. It doesn't know what to do. Fun fact. Keeping the watch. I don't know. I don't think fireworks is bad. Might just keep them just because, but... Probably not. Get my key. Dude, there was no um, equipment on this map. Usually this map has a lot of equipment try shops. That's why it's a little bit surprising that we didn't get to see one. But I mean, the reduced loot just, you know, makes sense. 
Does the movement from Quill actually work towards the Disciple? I don't remember. Another key is crazy. Alrighty, alrighty. We don't need this anymore. Or that. Or this. Or that. I need that really. I forgot we had Scorpion. That's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, the quills. GG's. We have little disciples now, so if there is like a boss printer, I'm not gonna gamble on getting a scrapper and not for it. Uh, could print a chrono if you get a mark to work. Do you have enough fine one? That's not bad. Um, we do have scorpion, so I feel like it is more likely. I feel like we're usually destined to find a chrono bubble at some point. It's all good. Leaving with an Ahoy in my hand. <laughs> gas Scorp slow and exposed. The thing is, like, gas for me... Well, you're right. I just don't usually consider gas viable for, like, Mithrix or something. Because it's just usually not. Um, if we get an FMP, then I'll consider it. But for, like, normal world bosses, it would actually work, yeah. As a reminder of uh, people who don't know... Oh, fuck me. Um, Mithrix cleanses his non-damaging debuffs on himself every time he sprints or dashes. So it can be kind of annoying. So even if you can get like a band proc off or something, it doesn't matter. Because you need everything on an, in an instant. I don't want to be on this map. But we will get extra reds. So we'll see what we get. We're going to summon Awu like immediately because we have so much gas. There you are, buddy. Let me get the good boop. That was not a good boop. I needed to look at me, buddy. It's easier that way. Bye bye. Oh. Now let's see if we get any missiles first before I go all into uh into that. There's a speed printer as well. It's <laughs> living my dream. What up next? How mod do you use this in my extra players? Uh, a mod by Sixth Moon. I don't know what the mod is like specifically called, Multitude something, but the Sixth Moon version of it. There have been a lot of mods over the years that kind of do the same thing, but this one does the best and so much control. Can someone please explain to me what the fuck just happened? Yeah, so you know how like when you hit the ground, uh, you take a lot of damage? Basically what just happened is I hit the boss in such a way with my dash, so where it hit the ground really fast and took a lot of damage. I did it earlier on one of the Vagrants and stuff too. With Merc, it's, it's a specific tech you can do for certain flying enemies. Smack in the center of mass, just in the right way. So trick to boot consistently, I just gotta practice. I <laughs> For the control units, it's easier if you like expose them and then hit them like on the expose like thing. Try to hit center mass of the vagrants. It depends on where you are in relation to it when you're above it, so it's a little bit harder to describe. Speed helps also. And uh, okay, I thought that was another ICBM, and I was like, dude, I was a little bit too far forward. For example, I'd want to hit like directly center. Give me a plump. Give me a plump. Equipment. Please be recycling. It's not. But it's an equipment. Hey, we do have a scrapper. Nice. Or the missiles, bruh. Let me go the new. Oh, shit. Oh. Goob. Ah. Well, Goob is stupid and lame, so. Let us take this for, like, possible chaos or something. We're good. <laughs> Say it! <laughs> we don't have any procs or anything. We just have the fucking gas. Yeah. We got gloop. We got a lot of gloop and quails. 
I'm glad, actually. Half an air build next stage? I don't think so. We got rid of our fireworks early on, too. Could have been cool, but all these extra boss items we have are going to waste as well, unfortunately. I guess unless we go to Fields right now. If we get a Wungus, I'll do it. We have quite a powerful run build at the moment. What do you need Wungus for? You have Gnarled Wood Sprite. Oh, true. With its uh, very valuable passive healing. I wish it was good enough. That would be sick. Uh, by the way, we should just... Yoink my five pocket ice beams. I don't even think we're taking anything of the wood key. I don't know, I'm still holding on to the dream. Still holding on the white knuckled grip <laughs> onto this fucking dream. Hey. How you doing? Okay. One piece of the puzzle achieved. We just need a soul bound and an FMP. That's pretty easy, you know. Just get them. Just achieve them. Do I have an elixir? I don't. I don't really want to break my watches. Let's just keep that in mind. I think everyone would say maybe hit a good one. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you. And you. I will get Needle Tick. We have to scrap the four quails that we've accumulated on the stage somehow. I guess something went in my inventory. I don't know really why I got rid of that. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Alright, I think we're fine. Oh, it's good in fields. I'm not gonna actually like do do fields. I'm just gonna check it out for printers and stuff. We don't have like a responsibility to do at least one vent anymore because it doesn't increase difficulty, so it doesn't really matter. Can I get rid of one more green? Kind of. Not really. It's fine. You can say you were destined to find a chrono. I was. Why is it like? <laughs> Why does it do this? When did the fields change happen? When they put the pretty lights in the sky. Um, large chest, a lot of printers actually. I don't really think this is anything I want too badly. So far, no. Timed intermission, which means it doesn't increment stage count while still progressing time. Correct. I will just hit it anyway. Yeah, I actually don't want to be doing this, so I am actually going to leave. Oh, there is some equipment though. Sorry. I thought Veiled stopped pausing time in Survivors of the Void. It has time that keeps going. Oh, a band printer. Interesting. I'm looking for an ATG. First, uh, Mountain Shrine of the Run. I know Chaz confused. Time goes up, stage counter does not. When stage counter goes up, 15% uh, multiplied difficulty overall. But we don't have that. So just time. Another mention. So you cannot get pre loop savages anymore? You can if you play on Sundered Grove. But not because of the old. I'm just trying to see if, like, because if there was, like, an ATG printer, I would hit the ATG printer over the band printer. I'd rather do a mix a little bit, but give me a flint in this. Does the merch Merc dash exposed tech work? When you triple swing, your third swing, an area around yourself, grant, applies expose. When you cancel that third swing with a dash, you still have the the sword technically in front of you. And so when you have that sword in front of you technically, and you dash into something, you expose extra attack. Give me the pump. Give me the pump. Give me the pump. Eh. Stop. The grandparents suit. I'll do it. There you go. The way it like lights up the stage is rather interesting too. Is there a scrap on this map? Do we know? Blocks. You go fucking hyper item. Dude, I'm actually not gonna get a missile for my ICPMs. Oh boy. 
I need him from the TP, dude. Okay, there's a few more chests to get, though. We got a missile. It's not really the one we were looking for, but, you know. There's also a band printer and AP printer on the stage, so, I mean... <laughs> I don't really have much else to say about that. It's just how it is. Overloading Solus control units, huh? I got a double boop. Pretty good. <laughs> bye bye, bitch. <laughs> bye bye. What gonna we bowling? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, I know I was getting a lot of bans this stage, but I guess I didn't really expect that many bans. Are we gonna give up all of our gas to get AP rounds? I wanna get some extra drones too for the probes. No, if can be sadly, gas don't do much after the stage. Nope, only for the orbs, but it's sad. Sad, sad. And a spare drone parts would be pretty good. How much? Uh, green scrap? Do we want to keep for moon soup? Because we can just ban a... Though it is Jaro's ban, right? And Jaro's ban on Umbral is a little bit harder. Oh no. Okay. Is there a scrapper? Underneath. There's no underneath because this area is here. Get my death mark though. Oh shit, there is one here. Hold. I think I just take the ML. I don't care what the other one is. I mean, I need I need my missiles to do something. <laughs> Please. Uh, let's get that, I guess. How many green scrap do I have? I have 19. I don't know. Get like 9? Save like 10 green scrap for reds if you want to do that. Keep white scrap in case of a sun moon. Nah, I only had three anyway, and if there's a missile, I'm gonna print it. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> I'd rather have like, what, 60% extra damage. All right, let's go. No scrapper. So it's just how it's, it is, how it be. A lot of girts on this stage. We get a plimp out of the key box. We're looking for the key box together as a team. Everyone better be leaning in. Right, what are our reds? Clover. Aegis. Shit. Yeah, uh, sign me up, dude. <laughs> I don't think you really have anything for Clover here, but it's okay. Needle tick, I guess. Worth. Eh, I mean, DML with poly loot with clovers, that's gross. Heads on risk game? I actually forgot I had head stompers. Eh. <laughs> Alright. You got the Clover Poly Loot. Press more HP, I can't. Just going for the wrong one. Got like one missile on the boss.
Ahí. The point of these runs is, I guess, not for the boss, though. Because, <laughs> I mean, I guess phase four is, like, the one part where I could lose. It's the problem in multitudes, anyway. It's really, really hard to play multitudes and have Mithras be hard. Or you have to have, like, a really bad fight. 